So vasomotor rhinitis is a non-allergic type of rhinitis. So all the tests, allergy tests, all are negative in this vasomotor rhinitis because it's the non-allergic type of rhinitis. And then usually it uh, simulates the same nasal allergies, signs and symptoms, presentations, features are too much similar to the allergic rhinitis, but it's non-allergic. It's classified as a non-allergic uh, rhinitis because the pathogenesis that leads to the development of this rhinitis is different than the allergic type of rhinitis. If you see in this, um, uh, this is the normal healthy mucosa, nasal mucosa, it's pinkish color and this is when the rhinitis occur, it causes redness and congestion and stuffiness. So all these changes occur along associated with the rhinitis or inflammation. Now the symptoms of vasomotor rhinitis are the nasal obstruction as with the uh, allergic rhinitis, nasal obstruction is common because with any type of inflammation, whether it's non-allergic or allergic, the symptoms which are produced are because of the swelling of the nasal mucosa that becomes edematous and it causes obstruction and there is increased production of mucus from that. So the main changes that occur are the same, but the difference, main difference lies in the uh, causative agents and how they lead to the uh, development of uh, rhinitis. Mm -hmm.